viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to another video you know it's a boy SAE big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning in to this one so coming up in today's video guys is the heavyweight versus the heavyweight people the West Indies will be looking to take on defending champion England in the first match of their Super 8 contest and people it's promised to be a one to remember because both teams are looking forward to these two points and people a lot of people is not banking on the West Indies but people I'm here to tell you guys that the West Indies will beat England this is not a prediction it's a spoiler people we're gonna zoom in and the details you understand we're gonna zoom in and the pitch report the preview the potential playing level but before we do so though please go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to be the first to alerted whenever a new video is uploaded and don't forget we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers so without further ado people let's dive right into the details people who your money on are you a gambling person if you're gambling who would you back to win this First encounter of the Super 8 between West Indies and England. Right about now, the USA and um, South Africa is battling. You understand? But let's get the, the, the West Indies um, preview out of the way first. You understand? So, uh, the big talking point is, guys, that um, the US is going to bank on um, Adele Rashid to basically um, come good. You understand? Because they are saying that he's the key in order for this um west this england team to really beat west indies you understand and, and and a lot of fans are saying yes and some are saying no but you know people it's going to be a fantastic one that's all we can tell you it's going to be a fantastic one you understand heavyweight versus heavyweight west indies versus um england i'm trying to see if i can um you know i book up an article um match details like you know a pitch report because I'm not there, so I'm going to have to really find the pitch report. But based on my understanding so far, guys, the West Indies should come on with this one. You understand? And 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 if you're talking about the potential playing eleven, guys, the, 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 the only one change that I would make to my team, you know, guys, the only one change I'll bring in Rust and Chase. You understand? Um, he's the man that I believe should come in and, and give Shea up a little break and stick with Obed Makai. It's going to be difficult to really bench Shepard, but you know, people. So, clash of heavyweights as defending champions take on host. Hayakten duel anticipate as two-time champions go head-to-head -head in the Super 8. So, as we know, both teams have won the T20 World Cup twice, people. England twice, West Indies twice. So, this is, this is more than just two points, people. This is... Either team win could go on to win this year's T20 World Cup. You understand? Either team win because these... Based on the group that they are in, West Indies, um, South Africa and England, these are the three teams to really say in this group will really be counted. You understand? It's going to be difficult. Maybe it's going to come down to net run rate or what when it comes on to going to the Super 4. But um, I'm hoping that West Indies could get over England now and then they get over US later on in Barbados in the week or next week. And then they have South Africa final and then we can see you are going. But I'm banking on the West Indies to really get over England and then USA and gone to four points. And then, you know, that will make sure they could qualify. But I want them to kick up South Africa as well. But so the, remember guys, the match will start at 8.30 p.m. local time. If you're in Jamaica, it's 7.30 p.m. You understand? So the big picture is after um they endure the group stage, England have floated and down to sort down to St. Lucia, you know, and a wave of exhilaration, you know. Matter of fact, England people they basically brush through to qualify out of their group. They're not gonna pretty up things, people because people like to pretty up things and rate it like this team is great and big and mighty. It wasn't with a mighty look making them say they scrape through because if you look at it, and like the West Indies who dominate their group. So England and West Indies are each competing for an unprecedented 30 20 World Cup title and the events at, at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground. Um have any name in honor of the man who delivered the host those two first titles could go some you know some way um towards confirming the readiness or otherwise of the, these two very real contenders for the crown rest in these are fit focused and firing on all cylinders they come into the contest on a high matter of fact they come into the contest people on an eight match and beaten run 
this is wonderful. This is the first time West Indies have been unbeaten so far in T20 cricket over the years. First time they have ranked third unbeaten. So people, you understand, Darren Sammy has been getting results. We can't change that. You understand? This is the man with the golden arms for our West Indies. You know, as we know, they beat New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Afghanistan, and Uganda. You know, um, you know, we need Brandon King to come good, though. You know, people, and um, it's going to be tricky, though. We need Brandon King and Johnson Charles to come good. You know, some people are basically calling for um, Johnson Charles to really be dropped. But, you know, people, I'm not going to say too much on Johnson Charles because he's playing at home ground and it's going to be difficult to drop a man that's playing at his home ground. I'm basically running through the article, guys, and talking to you. But from guide, you know, from the West Indies, from the previous matches between England and West Indies, West Indies have won... The last five completed T20 series most recently. England has only won four and last one. In the spotlight, Phil Stalt and Gulakish Moti. You understand? Go hard or go home. That has been Phil Stalt's mantra um, throughout the T20, throughout, throughout his T20 career. And right now, his unrelenting approach at the T20 at the top of the England's order has never been more valuable after fitting in um around the um peripheral for several seasons. You know, Salt's international breakthrough came against this same West Indies team back in December when he back to back centuries in Grenada and Trinidad carried the attack back to the world's most aggressive batting lineup and reminded England of the fearlessness that they had so clearly mislaid in their 50 over World Cup defense. Given the tranquilized um, nature of their T20 um, over campaign to date, it's hard to judge exactly how the middle order is tracking, which means that impetus at the top could be all the more important as they seek their first major scope, scope of the campaign. So, a matter of fact, they're talking about Phil Stout, people. Phil Stout hasn't really been performing this year's T20 World Cup. He hasn't really given us any good total to really look at him and say, take him seriously. We know he's the talented, yes, and he's the ball good, yes, but he's not really performing well. But in a poor pack lineup, um, there is something unassuming about Gudakish Moti, left arm um, of offering, but... As England discover in December, and as seven wickets at 11.85 imply, um, at this now is relentless fight and guide. Matter of fact, you know, people, some of these people are just dragging out some stuff. But basically, they're saying that Moti is going to be the key versus West Indies. In, for West Indies in this um match versus England because if the last match that the England and West Indies played the West Indies kick up England in the Caribbean if you can remember back Jack I remember back to that you understand so Moti I think that the three spinners gonna have a big role to play you understand I'm banking on Obed Mackay as well to do something fantastic as well but the team news guys is that not a lot of concerns for West Indies after dominant display against Afghanistan although they do have a handful of selection um Rastan Chase and Shea Hope are competing for the same middle order berth while Romar Shepard missed the last match for paternity um, leave but is due back with the squad in good time for the match. Um, he could slot back in ahead of Obed Makai but I don't think they're going to drop Obed Makai. This man come and pick up 3 for 14 and they're going to drop the man in the left arm. That, that pitch is favoring to him. I don't Romar Shepard got to get a sit out. You understand? But the West Indies probably playing 11 guys as as you might know. You might read Brandon King, um, Johnson Charles, and Carlos Puran, Rastan Chase, <laughs> Ravman Powell, you know, Andrea Russell, Sherfin Rutherford, Akil Hussein, Alzari Joseph, Gudakish Moti, and Obed Makai. It's going to be tricky for Romar Shepard to make it into the team. You know, England mixed it up a touch after showers um, in Antigua had reduced their Nabia uh, match to 11 overs with Sam Curran and Chris Jordan both included um, to offer a one a wider range of that bowling option. Both could keep their places with Jordan's that bowling and extra batting giving him an edge over Mark Hood. Will Jack also seems likely to come back into the 11, potentially down the order 
at number six. Will Jack, number number three, Will Jack, with Liam Livingston missing training due to sickness bug, but having recovered from the side niggles he suffered against Nabia. So, um, the England uh, possible playing 11 guys will read like this. Will Salt, Josh Butler, um, Johnny Beerstone, Harry Brooks, Mohim Ali, Will Jack, Sam Curran, Jaffa Archer, Mark Hood, Chris Jordan, Slash Chris Jordan, Mark Wood slash Chris Jordan. You know that's what they're saying. Number 10, Adil Rashid. Number 11, Reese Topley. You now, pitch condition, people. You know, um, this will be another outing for the, the belter of a surface on which West Indies rank up 218 for 5 against Afghanistan on Monday. You know, so a high scoring contest is in prospect. You know, and um, the dimension are a touch. I touch lopsided 63 meters um and a one square boundary compared to 72 meet, meters you know what not to read to that but 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 because but you know people i'm not going to say anything more to you guys because you already know that it's going to be a mouth-watering game you understand don't need to go into more details about the pitch and rate rate because we started pitching last match and it was playing fantastic so you guys just stick around and you know we're here to talk about west indies great once the west indies win again and even if they don't win but big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning in little more